Hi guys, um, for this short uh, video, we are going to discuss about hematopoiesis. When we say hematopoiesis, it is the development of your um, blood cells. Now, in hematopoiesis, it would start with your pluripotent stem cells, which you can find in your bones. When we say pluripotent, it means that these are the cells that can give rise or has the potential to become different kinds of cells. All right, so you see yung pinaka source. All right, now it has two major uh, lineages. You have your myelite stem cells and your lymphoid stem cells. For myelite stem cells, as we observe from the leftmost, you have your colony forming units before it could actually become your blasts. Okay, now for your colony forming units for your erythrocytes, it will give rise to your red blood cells. So red blood cells are actually the ones, the cells in your blood that contains your hemoglobin and which will, which will hold oxygen and deliver that oxygen to the different tissues. All right, as you can observe, the erythrocyte first becomes a blast. When we say blast, sila yung mga bata, okay? They are very young cells. And as it matures, it, the erythrocyte will lose its nucleus as well as its other organelles. So, nawawala na sila hanggang sa maging mature sila. Kaya nagiging biconcave yung shape ng RPC natin. So, wala na siyang nucleus and other uh, organelles. Now, how about your megakaryocytes? Your megakaryocytes are the ones that give rise to your platelets. Megakaryocytes kasi malaki sila initially. Pero, as they mature, they become smaller to give rise to your platelets. So what are your platelets? These are the cells that are in charge for your coagulation. Um, that will be discussed a little later when we talk about your um, hemostasis. Basically, sila yung mga taga tapal ng mga sugat mo. And they will be the ones that are in charge to stop the bleeding. Okay, now let's go to the other lineages, so we have here your mast cell, but we will be discussing it a little later. So, diretso siya from myeloid stem cell na nagiging mast cell. How about the colony forming units for your granulocytes? So, yung granulocytes meron kang apat. Eosinophilic, basophilic, myeloblast, and your monoblast. So, unahin natin yung acinophils. So yung acinophils, ito, they're actually called your granulocytes kasi meron silang granules sa loob. Uh, the reason why they have granules are these are actually chemicals that are essential dun sa functions nila kasi sila yung mga soldiers ng body natin that will fight off your uh, different kinds of infections. Different kinds of cells, different functions yan. First, your acinophils. So acinophils are the cells that are uh, in charge of your, that are mainly implicated in your allergies. So kapag, for example, may allergies ka or may asthma ka, may asthma ka, uh, maraming acinophils sa dugo mo. Alright, now how about your basophils? Uh, lesser in number as compared to acinophils. Uh, basophils are actually the ones in charge in your parasitic infections. Infections and some parts in your um, allergies for, pero mas prominent for your parasitic infection. Sila naman yung mahalas dun sa mga parasites. Malabat sa kanila. Alright, how about your myeloblast? It will now become your neutrophil. So actually, your neutrophil is yung pinakamaraming um, granulocytes sa blood ninyo. Bakit? Sila kasi yung pinaka nauna sa side of action. So for, for example, nagkaroon ka ng infection, bacterial infection. So, neutrophil yung nauna dun sa site para lumaban dun sa mga invading organisms. How about your monoblasts? Your monoblast will now become your monocyte. It will mature to your monocyte. So, um, uh, they are also the one of the soldiers of the body and sila yung isa sa mga nag end up sa mga microorganisms. Now, going to your lymphoid lineage, so by the name itself, lymphoid, uh, actually sila yung mga pinaka 
uh, involved or sila yung talagang involved dun sa immunity ng katawan mo. Okay, adaptive immunity ng katawan mo. Uh, the um, actual maturity of these kinds of cells will be better discussed in your immune system uh, anatomy and physiology. But it will suffice for you to know that the lymphoid stem cells should give rise to your lymphoblast, T lymphoblast, B lymphoblast, and your natural killer lymphoblasts. Your T lymphoblast will become your T lymphocyte. So your T lymphocytes, these are actually the kinds of cells that would go into education. Sila yung mga matututo kung paano pumatay ng mga microorganisms na mag invade sa katawan nyo. So sila yung mga pinakamatatalinong cells when it comes to infections. They would actually go to your bone marrow and your thymus in order to develop and yung mga pinaka-cream of the cup sa kanila, yung mga pinaka-magagaling na lumaban sa microorganism, sila lang ang magmamature and go to your uh, different tissues. Your B lymphocytes are very much the same. Uh, nagmamature sila sa bone marrow. Yung T lymphocytes, dun sa sila sa thymus. Uh, these are lymphoid organs. Your B lymphocytes sa bone marrow lang sila. Uh, and the same thing sa T lymphocytes, they would fight your infections. Same thing with natural killer cells. Now, I was saying a while ago, kung bakit meron yung mga nasa pinakababa. So when we say mast cells, macrophages, plasma cells, these are actually the cells at the tissue level. So kung titignan mo sa dugo, eto lang yung mga makikita mo, RBC platelets, your granulocytes, sites, that just like this, and then your lymphocytes. Pero kapag pupunta ka na sa tissue level, uh, sa site of infection na, uh, yung Iba sa kanila, nagmamature into a different kind of thing. So your monocytes, you call them monocytes when they are in your blood, but you call them macrophages at your tissue level. Your B lymphocytes are in the blood, and they, you call them plasma cells when they uh, go to your tissues. Basically, sila yung mga lumalaban sa infections doon mismo sa site ng gera. The same thing is with your mast cells, which is very much implicated in your allergies. All right, so that is your basics for your blood cell lineages. All right, so until next time.